This is a quaint little scene. The, the little house out in the middle of nowhere, but surrounded by trees and has its little lights on, like it's welcoming and there's people inside who want you in. And then there's leaves on the ground, just the trees all around it, the fact that it's autumn. This is a nice little scene that looks like it could be in a diorama or something. And I didn't notice until I just stopped and stared at it for about a minute before I started talking. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Pokemon White version. Last time we explored Mr. Alton City and got interrupted by the X-Train Seaver. Uh, and then we met a lot of people that were very helpful, and then we went to the north to chase after Skylo, said she was headed toward the Celestial Tower on Route 7. This time, we... Blair, oh. This is your mom, oh. You just had to remind me of that fact and burst my bubble, didn't ya? Wow, you're already on Route 7? You've gone quite far. Say, how are your Pokemon? You can't get that far by yourself, you know. It's all thanks to your Pokemon. Don't forget to take care of them. Am I being too serious? Well, take care. Senior trainer mom signing off. I know that she was a trainer, but if I may say so, not serious enough, mom. You never ask how I'm doing, it's always my Pokemon. You really did disown me. Uh, I guess as we're walking up here, can we appreciate what you look like when you stand still and you're wobbling and you're about to fall? It's probably the most personality we've seen out of Blair up to this point, and I like it a lot, just want to do that. His eye looks, oh, no, 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 God. oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, a dwat. I need to throw up a rappel. There we go. There we are, and now we don't have to worry about falling off of the raised walkways because I want to show stuff. TM81 X Scissor, or Cross Scissor if you prefer. I don't know what dialect you use or which one's a visual, but I think it's X Scissor. X Scissor is an 80 power physical bug type move with a high, no it doesn't have a high critical hit chance. I'm probably confusing it with other stuff. Well, I want to see if anyone can learn that because I think, yes, Ottawa is able to. Revenge is less than awesome. If it had a better fighting type move, I'd probably keep that and overwrite one of the water moves, but no. I'd almost never use revenge. Heck, I've been looking for opportunities to use it, and then on the rare off chance that I do use it, oftentimes I'm faster anyway because I miscalculated, or I just thought the foe would be a lot faster than they were. I saw that Lillipap had an item for us. Ah, good, you're back to normal. Thought you might be sick if you were finding us actually good items because you were really not acting like yourself. I don't know what is it with that, the fact that I just can't get anything. Uh, a battle on a raised walkway, that's kind of cool. I kind of wonder if they'll ever make a battle system out of fighting on these raised walkways because other than turning the ground brown, it doesn't seem to do much of anything. Uh, I never actually said what it is we're gonna be doing this time. I probably should actually specify that before I give you no expectations and you make your own expectations and then you're severely disappointed with me. Our main goal here is going to be fighting a lot of the trainers, getting a lot of the items in Route 7 and just kind of seeing it. We're going to be doing a lot of training and we probably won't be covering a whole lot of ground this time, but there's a lot of stuff you can do on Route 7 that's available to you right now and I want to do it, darn it. And that is pathetic. You did 24 damage with acrobatics. I know that I resist you, but... It's a work of art when Rock uses acrobatics, and that is besmirching the good name of that ability. Sigilyph. You might be able to survive this, maybe? No. Cool. And now I get the plus special attack that I don't need it. Haywire between using Charge Beam to boost its own special attack, as well as gaining levels like a mad man or mad woman. Losing is uncool. No, no, you are cool. Yeah, because I didn't lose. You didn't need to clarify. I already knew what you meant. It's good to sway wildly on a raised walkway. I know, it's really fun and very charming and gives your main character more pers- I always think that I have a few more seconds with that than I do, but anyway. Haywire is able to buff herself now a lot by using Flame Charge to buff her own speed, Charge Beam to buff her own special attack, and on top of that, we also have Lightning Rod for our ability, which will also buff our own special attack. All the while being immune to Electric. Ian, I thought that said Harlequin Iran for a second, or Iran. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I grew up in an era where everyone pronounced it like that, so I always say it that way. Tynamo! I get to exact my revenge on you. You, do you have static for your ability? I'm pretty sure you do, so maybe this was a bad move. 
Well, okay, I don't care. I got the plus speed and you didn't get off whatever your ability is. I don't really remember. <laughs> Actually, no, you have Levitate. What am I saying? I know that you have Levitate because I praised you for having no weakness and I've even raised you before. Wow, brain fart. Ducklet, here, have a rotten day on the house. <laughs> Man, poor thing. Tranquil. I have no doubt in my mind that I can one-shot you now. There we go. Uh, Haywire's coming into her own. She really is. She was by far the weakest member of our team for a while and... Heck, maybe she still is when you really get right down to it because of just how good synergy our team has, but she's pulling her own weight. She's leveling up pretty quickly. I'm getting on kind of a power trip with her, if you will. Nothing hidden around these parts. All right, so we're just going to go up. We've got a hidden item. An Ultra Ball in a puddle. I feel bad for whoever dropped that in the water and thought that it was useless because I'm sure it'll do some good for me. I, I'm actually going to keep track of that. I'm going to see if the last Ultra Ball that we use um, does something good for us. Oh! Conquering a mountain means conquering your fears. Can you win against Pokemon that have conquered many mountains? You remind me of that one hiker that we saw all the way back in Nimbasa who was afraid, who was, uh, well, sorry, no. He wasn't afraid of heights. That, that was his whole thing. He was not afraid of heights. But um, you remind me of him for some vague reason. You, you are a hiker, after all, and he is the most memorable hike we've come across. So, yeah, that's what is reminding me of it. And Ottawa, get out here! I've been a little bit too happy with Haywire right now just because of how well she's been doing in battle and leveling up like crazy. But Ottawa, you need to do some fighting. You left us hanging a while back when you were 40 experience away from leveling up and I couldn't see your experience bar in that dribble battle. You need to get out here and you need to burn him right now so his dirty ability doesn't matter. You didn't do that. So now I'm in a potentially a little bit of danger. Okay, now I'm fine. Uh, Accelerock doesn't exist, but I never like taking chances whenever I have the opportunity to use priority moves and they'll knock out. So Aqua Jet it is. I don't know, just even when I know that the foe doesn't have any priority moves, maybe it's a like of being in the habit of using them when they're low on health. I don't know, but I always do it. Encore! For how classy you've been lately, I could see that being a fitting move for you to have, but I don't want to teach it. It forces the foe into using the same attack over and over again. If you think they're going to use a buffing move, that can be really nice because it prevents them from really getting anything out of it. If you can beat them before it's over or it can force a switch. Discharge! I'm just explaining moves left and right. This is an 80 power special electric type move that can cause paralysis compared to Volt Switch, which is 70 power and allows me to get a free switch. We're gonna teach Discharge for now. Um, that's what TMs are for, and boy, am I glad for it. I am so happy that TMs exist for that purpose, and a lot better than their old purpose of forcing you to play the whole game again just to teach a move one time. I should not have used Scald right there. Crap, he might get guts activated thanks to me. I, I wish the Girder family were a little bit different. What I, an idea that I've always wanted is a Pokemon that is a different type in all three stages of its evolutionary family. Timber could be fighting grass type, Girder could be fighting steel type, and Conkeldur could be fighting rock type. I know that maybe it's not really the best game design because you, you know, the player wouldn't really know what they'd be ending up with, but for those that would know about it, it could make it very interesting. I <laughs> would know about it for a playthrough where you could make sure you have the right type at the right time in the playthrough. But um, that tangent aside, Ottawa is evolving! Hallelujah! <laughs> She is now the Lady Bearded Samurai! Ottawa evolved into Samurai. <laughs> it's been a long time coming, but I'm so glad that you're, you've done it. Ottawa wants to learn Slash. I don't think I have any reason to learn that because X-Scissor is 80 power. Slash is 70 power, but critical hits lie more easily. Yeah, no. I have no reason to learn this because I'm not a normal type Pokemon myself. And even if I was, I wouldn't use Slash because Return makes pretty much every normal type move very trivialized. No, I don't want to learn it. Hikers aim at summits. Pokemon trainers aim for the Pokemon League. Maybe I should also become a hiker because I'm pretty sure the Pokemon League is on top of a mountain. It usually is. You are Blair, aren't you? Why, yes. I didn't know I had a fan club. I'm earning a name for myself now that I'm Mr. Five Badges, huh? Are you surprised that I know? Clay told me. Oh. Uh, 
assuring I don't get an ego since whatever year Clay was born. Uh, uh oh. To go inside Twist Mountain, you gotta need to have a gym badge from a Stralton Gym. The wild Pokemon here are tougher, and we want to make be sure you're ready. All because I haven't earned a badge yet, I shut down trade routes between this city and whatever the next one is. This world is very much in disarray. <laughs> All right, I'll meet you back over by the healing house. Or not, I see that there is a Pokemon rustling down here and that would be exceedingly painful to jump into grass that tall if it has any degree of spikiness to it. Oh, I don't know, hey, guess what? Wire. Oh, that lucky egg. Lillipap had an item for us, a repel. Always welcome in my bag, especially when it is infinite in terms of space. I really could be a freight plane when I really think about it. I'm trying to think about the things that I'll do after this journey is over, you know? Being a Pokemon trainer is not gonna pay the bills forever and ever, you know? Eventually my arm is probably gonna atrophy thanks to, uh, well, maybe not atrophy though, but eventually I'm gonna get Carpal Tunnel and not throw a Pokeball because I'm a nerd. Ottawa had a warm up on that Audino, but I think it's time for a debut battle. Oh, a Pokedex, I see. That is the reason for your journey. Yeah, what of it? I, I can never read the word Pokedex anymore without thinking of Pokemon Generations, because there's that one episode where Agatha's like, I thought you'd be completing the Pokedex. And the way she says Pokedex always made me chuckle. It's, it's really funny though, but hello, Minchino. I forgot my fighting type move. How lucky for you. Let's use a razor shell and see how much oomph it's got behind it. Give it some oomph. Your debut battle was very fast. <laughs> At least we know that you got the power to beat something with neutral damage like that. I know, us Pokedex owners, we always seem to become champions. Something about it. I heard that both Professor Junipers were uh, backpackers when they were young. I like Professor Juniper being a term with a plural. Uh, wait, what? Don't I have a repel? I swore I put one up. If I didn't, then I most certainly do now. Pokemon Rangers, I want to battle you because you have items for us. I'll show you our style. My Pokemon and nature are in harmony. Are you gonna go all nature on us like that other Pokemon Ranger? It's kind of funny just how much more you want to fight Pokemon Rangers when online service shuts down so you can't grow berries anymore so they're your only way of getting them. All right, show them who's boss. Show that Squad Squad Loon, Squad 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 Loon, Squad Squad Loon, yeah, yeah, Squad Squad Loon. Squad, 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 loon. I can never not hear them saying that whenever I listen to Tidal Tempest anymore. <laughs> For the last several years, ever since I've seen the Pokemon Squad Loon and then replaying Sonic CD, I always hear Squad Loon in that song. I was saying ya yeah, ya yeah, you, but it just it sounds like it to me. Okay. Very thankful that I had a priority move there in that circumstance. Razor Shell. It wouldn't be, you know, if we, if we were gonna have a time when we were out just kind of training on a route, getting lots of items and fighting lots of trainers and not really counting on covering too much ground, it'd be a crime if we weren't at least making our Pokemon, uh, having a Pokemon that evolved and test driving our fancy little new toy. It would be. This actually probably would have been a really good fight for Haywire, but I don't care. Haywire is used to getting shown up by, well, everyone. Maybe those days are coming to an end because of what's been going on lately. I don't know, perhaps. Go for another X scissor. The string shot's actually hurting me a little bit. I think I might have been able to outspeed you given the level difference. Come on! I am so not about the life of being slower than a semi-poor, even though semi-poor is pretty fast, actually. Never mind. You're not faster than this. But you are bulkier than it. Ottawa, you seem to be having a bit of a rough time. <laughs> Maybe it's time that I switch you out a little bit. All right, you got to wreak havoc for a little while, then get to, again, one, two, three, four experience. Wasn't our style worthy? Whenever you get experience points that are meaningful like that, it's always so much more satisfying now that it scales. What is my Pokemon style? Apparently in a spare berry. Uh, first, we'll uh, create our own style because I am hopeless at social niceties and fashions. I don't have anything to say to that, but uh, PP up. You can take my mind off of it. I'm gonna go heal real quick. Look at that hat. You can tell what direction he's facing just by the bill of his cap. That is good sprite design, kids. It takes 20 or even 30 years for a tree to be fully grown. 
We have a Pokemon battle that pleases the trees. They are always watching you, especially in the Nintendo-verse where the trees actually do have eyes and are always watching you. Ranger Pedro, you have a Solosis. Maybe Hilbert was not the wisest option for this. Well, you have a dark type move. Let's see how well you do. Probably should have stockpiled, but oh well, too late now. Let's go for it. Okay, I can two hit you. Oh, Future Sight. Future Sight, even though it says it's a psychic type move, it's actually typeless damage when it goes through. Hilbert doesn't have to worry about a thing. Good. And Axu. All right, well, you take neutral damage to my sludge bombs. Let's go for it. Sure. Well, actually, you were faster than me. Oh, this is... Wait, it's... It is psychic type now. Well, this is embarrassing. <laughs> I guess this is the game where it changed from typeless to psychic. <laughs> uh, don't you dare go to critical hit now. Thank you. Good to know that you're good at listening, even though you have no ears. It's not a skill that I assume would come very naturally to your kind. I will take my pointless moxie. Just I gotta feed terabytes ego. I'll recover a little bit of health, and that's it. I did my best. I am satisfied. This is what a tree gave me. I guess he had a spare. That's enough awkward silence for a lifetime. <laughs> it's enough for two lifetimes. <laughs> Gonna go behind you and get a max ether. Makes up slightly for that sham of a hidden item that we had below in uh, Mr. Alton City. But with that, we have reached Celestial Tower, a place of rest for innocent spirits. I know that it was pretty close to our starting point, but I wanted to go around and get everything that we could get on Route 7 before pressing onward. Gotta get that experience under the belt, gotta be stronger for the road ahead. Next time on Pokemon Black and White, we climb to the top of the Celestial Tower, which we actually, well, we can see the top of it, never mind. Wouldn't be a building in this series if you couldn't just see the top of it from the ground. See you guys then.